Hello, and welcome back to the Let's Play Amnesia: The Dark Descent. Now, when we last left, uh, we can't even call him a hero, really, can we? When we last left, our uh, abject coward Daniel, he had just finished rebuilding the machinery necessary to make the lift operate, uh, which would in turn allow us to descend further into the bowels of the castle. Now, why on earth we want to do this, I'm not entirely sure. But, uh, we're gonna go see what's waiting for us. <clears throat> I apologize if I sound a bit weird. By the way, um, no matter what I do, I just can't seem to clear this dry throat. Well, this certainly bodes well for a uh, further adventuring, doesn't it, boys and girls? It's a good job I didn't mess any boxes about, because I'd never be able to get back up here. Stop so making whooshing noises around here. <clears throat> yeah, I gotta give you this one, Daniel. This is all pretty freaky. Although, you know, I'm not quite sure it's as bad as it could be. I mean, actually seeing all this stuff appear is. I don't know. Perhaps I'm just being fussy. Ow, what the crap? Ow, stop that. What the hell was that? Oh, that you was it. So you got some bruises. There you go. much better. Okay, I don't really see how I could have noticed or avoided that. Just sort of like, I'm going to take damage for no apparent reason. Well, whatever. Loading screens haven't changed for a while now, though. Guess that means we're sort of stuck in this phase of the game for a while, maybe? Huh. That's... horrific. <clears throat> the spotty blood trail. It's back. And it's pointing towards the place we were going to go to anyway. Hmm. Not really sure how well that works then, guys. You have a big scary sequence that just generally pushes us in the same direction we we're about to go anyway. Whatever. I'm not a game developer, I suppose. I don't know how these things work. I'm not privy to the secret meetings. I'm a consumer, not a developer. I think I... Yeah, close that enough. Hmm. Surprisingly fast loading time there. <clears throat> Down we go. Can't we go through that way? Or that way? No? Hmm. Well, that's...
out. Ah, now it changes. The ta dark towers of Brennenberg rose above the forest and were silhouetted against the snow white moon. He couldn't help feeling sad for some reason. I don't know, perhaps it was the rather epic cliche going on? I really don't know. I take it all this is the game's way of subtly telling me I won't be going back upstairs for the foreseeable future. If ever again. Nope, not likely. Hmm, this room looks almost exactly the same as uh, the one we left upstairs. Would that be a lazy bit of coding, boys and girls? Or is this like a, a subtle silent hill homage? The same place, but different and freaky. Lantern. <clears throat> This way. What was that? Forgive me, I should have warned you. One of my responsibilities as a baron is that of a prison warden. This is where criminals are locked up. Like a dungeon? Very much so. Come, don't linger. Oh, goody. So, uh, unspeakable monstrosities, lunatic criminals, it's all good. By the way, in case I hadn't mentioned Alexander, I hate you. Oh, boo hoo. Ah, uh, two for the price of one. Get out the damn way, you son of a. You out the way. That out the way. I'll have to do, I suppose. Yes, yes, yes. Right, you. Piss off. Right. Should have done that before, really, shouldn't I? Right. Got anything interesting I can use around here? No, naturally. The fuck is that? Alright, we're gonna flee back into this room for a second, boys and girls. No idea what the hell caused all that. Not particularly eager to find out either. Nothing of use. Light over this way. Not that the light should be in any way, shape, or form trusted, but it is here. That's the right, game. I picked up a hammer. What are you going to do about it? Huh? Oh god, there's something creepy out here, isn't there? 